going into this sixth inning. second it gets by the second baseman that throw there but we'll get this sixth inning started here Bill Santos will have a meeting with with the catcher Mike Reeves and we'll get this sixth inning started here I believe it's going to be Connor, Connor Bowie starting this inning off for the Cardinals. How about it Hamilton, Chris Laser. And it looks like we're having a substitution in for Connor Bowie. And first pitch from De Los Santos is grounded foul. It'll be Chris Laser coming in for Connor Bowie. He'll take the pitch from De Los Santos. That's fouled off as well. So 0-2 now. So Leaf sticking with the left-hander here. Taking Zach Sloan out of the game, replacing him with their other left-handed pitcher, De Los Santos. Here's the 0-2 pitch. And that's just misses. Puts the count at one and two. Nilo Santos looks like he wants to move quickly too. Here's the pitch, the one-two pitch on the way. That's grounded over to shortstop and that's gonna go through for a base hit. So Lazar enters the game. So Laser enters the game and promptly gets on base for the Hamilton Cardinals. Just got between third base and the shortstop there. And Lane Renaud will step up. With a runner on and nobody out. Not the start De Los Santos was looking for, but we'll see if he can calm down here. He takes the first pitch to Renault is away for ball one. There's the pitch. That's fouled off. That's going out of play down the right field line. Los Santos is ready to go again. Here's the windup, 1-1 one, one pitch on the way. And that's low for ball two. Well, the Maple Leafs have to be happy with this result so far. 10-1 lead after the 13-5 victory yesterday in Hamilton. So in position to sweep this home and home double header if they can keep the score the way it is. Pickoff throw there was nothing doing and here's the pitch on the way to Renaud and that's a strike on the corner. So De Los Santos trying to get his first out of the game here. And here's the pitch. And that's grounded to the shortstop. Great play there, over to second for one, over to first, and it goes off the bag, but it looks like he just tagged him. Well, great play by Mara at first base to, to stay with that ball and tag the runner as he was going by him. Great play there by Hornestad at shortstop on a tricky bounce. They pull off the double play. So that erases the leadoff single for the Hamilton Cardinals. And that's ball one. Matt Casper up now for the Hamilton Cardinals. And he takes strike two. Delo Santos still trying to work quickly here. Here's the pitch to 
Casper and he grounds it to third base. Salazzo takes it over to first. And just like that, the inning comes to an end. So a quick inning for the Maple Leafs. They continue to lead this one 10 to one as we go into the bottom of the sixth inning. As we go into the bottom of the sixth, it looks like it's going to be Nick Jambrosik staying on the mound for the Hamilton Cardinals. He'll keep going, looking for his first clean inning of the game. As mentioned, the Maple Leafs have scored in every one of their innings. Looking to keep that going here in the sixth. This game feels like it might be a little bit out of reach already, though, for the Hamilton Cardinals, but. Certainly the Maple Leafs want to keep adding on. Jam, the catcher finally arrives. Jambrosa can start his warm-up pitches. It's going to be Garrett Takamatsu leading off for the Toronto Maple Leafs here in the bottom of the sixth. Lovely Canada Day. Nice to see a bunch, bunch of fans coming out to support the Toronto Maple Leafs here on this Canada Day. What better way to celebrate Canada Day with one of the more storied teams in Toronto? These Toronto Maple Leafs have been around for a long time. This IBL League has been around for a long time, since 1919 across southern Ontario. Eight teams across southern Ontario and Rich story history, a lot of former former and current major leaguers who played in the Intercounty Baseball League. Current Blue Jay John Axford was one of them. As Garrett Takamatsu steps in. John Axford played one year in the IBL. He played for the Brantford Red Sox back in 2005, of course now pitching for the Blue Jays. Last call for draw tickets, the CL for draw tickets, the last call. Takamatsu fouls that one off. Soon. I'm done. And that's strike two to Takamatsu. Count is 0-2. Ten one lead here for the Maple Leafs. Here's the pitch from Jambrosic. That's grounded over to shortstop. Making the play and firing it on over to first is Chris Beer. Takamatsu's retired, one away. How about it, Toronto? Center fielder, Connor Lewis. Connor Lewis will step up, the number nine hitter for the Maple Leafs. Jambrosic will work to him. There's the pitch, and that's popped in the air. That in a bit of a trouble spot for the Cardinals, but it just goes foul. Hit it into no man's land for the Cardinals, but just went foul along the right field line. So Lewis will jog back to the plate. will step back in here. And here comes the 0-1 pitch. Here's the windup from Jambrosic. And it's just high for ball one.
Lewis step back, steps back in. Jambrozic ready. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. And a swing and a miss. And it's 1-2. and two. Jambrozic, as I mentioned, looking for his first clean inning of the game. He came in after three innings from the starter for the Cardinals, Tyler Howard. Howard struggled to, with his control. And Jambrozic has struggled his control in this game as well. Having a better start to this inning, though. He's got two strikes on Connor Lewis. One out already. Top of the order up after Lewis, Grant Tamani. Here's the pitch from Jambrozic. And a swing and a miss, and Connor Lewis goes down on strikes. The strikeout for Jambrozic. And here comes Grant Tamani, the leadoff hitter for the Maple Leafs, batting with two out here in the sixth. So Grant Tamani moved over to second base. We'll step in. And that one's fouled off, goes to the backstop. Bounces off the hole behind the backstop there. Grant Tamani moved over to second base in this game after Dan Mara was taken out. The Maple Leafs comfortably in front. Jan Brozik trying to get one, two, three inning here. The first one, two, three inning for the Cardinals. If he can get Tamani here. And that's taken outside. And there's a strike. That evens the count at two and two. And Jambrozic going a little bit quicker now. Here's the pitch. Inside for ball three. Full count now. He's stepping back in. Jambrosic ready. Here's the windup. Here's the pitch on the way. And a swing and a miss. Yes, he went around, and that ends the inning. So for the first time all game, the Maple Leafs don't score in their half of the inning. That ends the sixth, going to the top of the seventh. 10-1 Maple Leafs over the Hamilton Cardinals. In six innings, we're making leaves, 10 runs on eight hits, and no errors. The Hamilton Cardinals, one run on four hits, and no errors. De Los Santos will come back out for the top of the seventh to pitch for the Maple Leafs. And a 10-1 lead for the Maple Leafs coming into this top of seven. On this Canada Day game here at Dominico Field at Christie Pitts. So Mike Semendo will Step in here for the Hamilton Cardinals to get this inning started. 
and he grounds one over to the third baseman. Salazzo makes a great play. Bare-handed play by Salazzo. He's made a couple of great plays at third base, and he retires Semenda there for a quick out here in the bottom of the seventh, or in the top of the seventh, excuse me. But if the Hamilton designated hitter, Josh Freeman. So Josh Freeman steps up, the designated hitter in this one for the Cardinals. De Los Santos, one pitch, one out there. That one's high to Freeman. A couple great defensive plays from Jonathan Salazzo, the third baseman in this one. Barehanded that one off the grass. Didn't look like he had any chance to get Semenda. That ball was dying on him quickly. He picks up the bare hand and with the bare hand and fires it over to first. And that one hits Freeman on the leg. So Freeman will take first base. Freeman reaches base for the first time this game, being hit by the pitch. That'll bring up the number nine hitter, Dave Vanderby. Second baseman, Dave Vanderby. So Vanderby steps in, left-handed hitter here with a runner on and one out. There's a grounder over to the shortstop. He'll throw it over to second for one, over to first, double play, and that ends the inning. So a quick inning there for the Maple Leafs. They give up a hit by pitch, but erase them on a double play, and it's stretch time here at Christie Pitts. It's a 10-1 lead for the Toronto Maple Leafs heading to the bottom of the seventh. Uh, this one is actually, this is the first one we're doing, so this one's actually just going to be uploaded after the game onto oh, hopefully a YouTube or something, right. and maybe the website if we figure out how to do that. <laughs> and then uh, after that, hopefully we're going to be webcasting them live. You have to hire a 14-year-old. Basically, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got a 14-year-old you can have. Perfect, there we go. <laughs> Yeah, that's the plan right now, and then hopefully the next ones will be webcast as long as I can figure out how to get it done. Yeah. And hopefully the website will have links to it or something too. Mm -hmm. Like on the Leafs website? Yes, yeah. That's, yeah, that's what uh, Dave told me for. So. Mm We'll get the bottom of the seventh started here. Nick Jambrosic still pitching for the Hamilton Cardinals and a 10-1 lead for the Toronto Maple Leafs on this Canada Day game here at the historic Domenico Field at Christie Pitts Park. Maple Leafs looking for their second straight win over the Cardinals after picking up a 13-5 victory in Hamilton yesterday. This is the last game of the home-and-home -home doubleheader here. So Aaron Hornestad steps in. And the first pitch from Jambrosic here in the bottom of the seventh is high for ball one. Jambrosic pitching here. Here's the pitch to Hornestad. That's inside. Has to jump out of the way of that one. Count goes to 2-0. Oh. Well, control issues have been in the story of this game for the Hamilton Cardinals. And it popped up in the air. That looks like it might go out of play, and it will, behind the backstop. Once that fouls that off. As I was saying, control issues being a bit of a story here for the Hamilton Cardinals. Can't both Jambrosic and Tyler Howard, the starting pitcher in this game, weren't able to have been able to throw strikes consistently, and the Maple Leafs have taken advantage. And when they've and when they've thrown strikes, the Maple Leafs, for the most part, have been mashing the ball. That one goes foul. Hornstadt will face a two and two pitch. 
once he gets back into the box and Jambrozic is ready to throw. Here's the pitch from Jambrozic. That's high for ball three. That evens the count at three and two. Here's the pitch from Jambrozic on the way. 3-2 pitch, fouled off right behind the backstop. So Hornestat stays alive. Justin Mara, who's been an offensive juggernaut for the Toronto Maple Leafs, waits on deck. I'm sure the Cardinals would rather pitch to him with nobody on base. Here's the wind-up and 3-2 pitch on the way from Jambrozic. And a swung on a miss. Looked like he chased one out of the zone there. Looked like it was ball four, but Hornstadt took a swing at it. And there's one away here for the Cardinals. And Justin Merrill will step in. About a control of first baseman, Justin Merrill. So Mara will step in here with one out, nobody on. And he takes strike one there from Jambrozic. Bottom of the seventh inning, it's a 10-1 lead for the Toronto Maple Leafs. And that one's outside. Count goes to one and one. One one pitch on the way from Jambrozic, and that is high, and it's two and one. Air has already hit a home run in this game, trying to add to his offensive numbers this season. Already very impressive. He takes strike two. That evens the count at two and two. Wait the 2-2 pitch. Here it comes from Jambrozic, and he swings at a looked like ball three, but he swings at it, and the sec shortstop can't corral it. Look like they may have gone off the glove of Chris Beer, and Justin Mara is aboard. Either went off the glove or went off the base. Went off second base there, maybe, and either way, Beer can't corral it. And Marcus Connect will come to the plate with a man on and one out. And Jim Brozick will step off, collect himself. Marcus Connect has connected on a few hits already today. Looking for more here. He had a home run in this game as well. Back-to-back -back shots from him and Justin Mara. And Connect will step back in. Here's the pitch on the way from Jambrozic. And that's popped up. Shortstop calling for it. And he makes the catch. It is Chris Beer. He retires Connect, and there are two away here in the bottom of the seventh inning. Everybody to turn up third baseman, Jonathan Salazzo. So Salazzo will come to the plate now. He's had a couple of great defensive plays in this game so far. He'll step in, trying to maybe add to the Maple Leafs lead here. Already up nine on the Cardinals. There's the pitch, that's fouled off. That's going behind the backstop, it goes into the crowd. inside. So the count's even at one and one. Slazo waits for the one-one pitch. Here comes from Jambrozic and that's 
swung on and he drops his bat after the swing. And holding something there. Try to tell what happened there if he just dropped the bat out of frustration for going around or something may have caught him there. Not entirely sure, but the counts one and two either way. Here's the pitch from Jambrosic coming. Wind up delivery. And that's popped up and out of play down the left field side. That rolls onto the hill and will roll back down. So Salazzo staying alive here. Here's the one-two pitch from Jambrosic. And that's grounded and that's going to go foul. So Salazzo staying alive here. Making Jambrosic work for this last out of the inning. We're in the bottom of the seventh here. A 10-1 lead for the Toronto Maple Leafs. 1-2 pitch on the way from Jambrosic, and it's taken for strike three. Salazzo throws his bat. I don't think he liked the call there. But Jambrosic works out of the, of the mini jam he was in there and gets out of it. So that ends the seventh inning. We go to the top of the eighth. 10-1 Maple Leafs over the Hamilton Cardinals. Bottom of the inning, we'll name out the winner numbers for the VML Day Start at the top of the eighth here. We got a new pitcher for the Toronto Maple Leafs. It'll be the right-hander Andrew Simonetti. He'll enter this game with his team up 10-1 as they look to close out the rest of this game. So Simonetti's gonna get ready to go here. Take on his first Cardinal batter of this game. So he'll face the top of the lineup here. Shortstop Chris Beer coming up. On the very first pitch of this game, Chris Beer had a solo home run over the left field wall. To give the Cardinals a one nothing lead. And he hits that first pitch out into center field. Lewis is under it, he'll make the catch, and Beer is retired. After that leadoff home run from Chris Beer, the Cardinals haven't been able to get anything else across the plate. Ten unanswered runs from the Maple Leafs. That's where we stand here in the top of the eighth, now one out. Jacob Martins. Jacob Martins coming to the plate. High for ball one. And here's the pitch. And that's out into center field as well. Lewis running back on his horse, trying to make the catch. It goes off his glove and it goes off the wall in center field. It's going to be a stand up double for Jacob Martins, his second double of the game. 
And Lewis was on his horse to go get that one. He just missed making a great play out in center. So Martins is aboard with one out. That'll bring up Grant Arnold. So Simonetti gets the first batter and gives up the double and for his second batter, Jacob Martins. Now Arnold at the plate. And that's grounded to short, making the play over to Mara for the out. They just get the speedy Arnold at first base. Good play there by Hornstadt. More tricky bounces on the dirt here at Christie Pitts Park. And that'll bring up Chris Laser. So Laser will step in. He was a substitute in the middle of this game. He'll come in. He takes a first pitch strike from Simonetti. It's a nine-run lead for the Maple Leafs to Simonetti. Runner on third with two out for the Cardinals. That one's outside for ball one. That evens the count. Simonetti winds up and deals. Here's the pitch on the way. Change up there. And that's taken for a strike. Here's the one-two pitch on the way from Simonetti. And that's grounded foul. And Simonetti. Here's the stretch, the windup, and it's high. It's a 2-2 two -two count here. Simonetti looking to get out of this inning unscathed. Runner at third, two out here. Here's the pitch on the way. And looking for the check swing. No says the first base umpire. That evens the count at three and two. Laser making Simonetti work for this last out. Here comes the pitch from Simonetti, and it hits Laser. That pitch got away from Simonetti, you could tell. So Laser is aboard, and with two out, here comes Lane Renaud. So Renaud steps in here, now first and third with two out. He's still trying to get out of this inning without giving up a run here. Here's the pitch. That one's in the air. 